Chat GPT. 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 Most of us have heard of it. Most of us have used it. But do you actually know how to take advantage of it in your e-commerce business? In today's video, I want to talk about exactly how to leverage the power of ChatGPT in your dropshipping business. And I'll even share with you how I've used ChatGPT to launch my dropshipping stores a lot more effectively. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Ali and here we talk everything AI and e-commerce related and how to bring the two together to effectively help you with your e-commerce journey and take advantage of artificial intelligence today. So a lot of you will probably know this already, but for those of you who aren't too sure what ChatGPT is, it's basically an artificial intelligence tool which users can use to prompt and get human-like responses from. Meaning you can have an actual conversation with this machine, ask it questions and get detailed responses back. And as powerful as ChatGPT actually is, at this point, you're only really limited by your ability to prompt it. If you don't know the right thing to prompt the machine, you're not going to get your desired answers. And that's why it's essential in this day and age with AI to understand exactly how to prompt the machines the right way to get your desired response. So in this video, I'll tell you how I use ChatGPT in my personal stores, the type of prompts I give it to get the desired response to help me with certain areas of my business. So the first and most obvious one is selecting a name for your store. Now, this is something that everyone on their e-commerce journey is going to have to do. And for a lot of people, it can be quite time consuming. It can be quite a process to break brainstorm what sort of names are out there that you can use because they have to also be available on Google domains. And this is where I now love to use ChatGPT to do it. So I used to use a platform called Namelix, which actually utilizes AI as well to generate names. But now I find ChatGPT to be a lot easier when trying to brainstorm some ideas on what I want to name my store. So let's say I have a store that sells a luxury lighter. So what we're going to do is we're going to prompt it to suggest 10 new names for our brand. We'll explain to it that our brand sells luxury lighters and we'll ask it to pick names that are elegant and catchy. And then once we've prompted this, it's gonna spit out 10 names. If we like them, then good. But if we want more options, then we can just prompt it to do another 10 and another 10. And we can ask it to make adjustments. Let's say we want them longer or let's say we want them shorter. All we need to do is prompt these things and it's just gonna go ahead and spit out the adjustments based on what prompt we've just given. So the more detailed you can be in your prompts to explain exactly what you want to achieve, the better results you're going to get. So if you already have an idea in mind on what sort of name you kind of wanna go for, something kind of catchy, elegant, whatever it is, explain those descriptive words in your prompts and it's going to help ChatGPT give you stuff that you like. Now, remember when you finally come across a name on ChatGPT that you actually like, make sure you head over to Google Domains, make sure the name is actually available because you wanna make sure nobody else owns the rights to that specific name. If it is, then you're sorted. And so now within a few seconds, we've just generated like 70 different ideas for names for our brand. Now, I remember in the past, I've spent days sometimes trying to decide on a brand name that I actually like. And now this process for me makes it so much easier. Every time I launch a new store to test a new product, just head over to ChatGPT, prompt it exactly the kind of name I'm trying to go for, something that's elegant or funny or interesting or whatever descriptive word that I kind of feel fits with the brand, I'll include it in the prompt. And then boom, I've got myself 20 suggestions. And if I don't like them, I've got another 20 more with just one more prompt. And usually once I've done this, I'll then tell ChatGPT that this is my favorite name that you suggested that I've decided to proceed with. I want you to generate me five different slogans that fit perfectly with this brand name. And again, the more descriptive you are at this point, the better. You can ask for it to be three word long slogan. You can ask for it to be a catchy slogan. Any more information you can add to it is going to help you develop something that is actually what you're looking for. And just as a side note, if you're new to e-com and you're trying to pick your first name for your store, make sure it's something catchy, make sure it's something easy to use, and make sure it's something actually available. You want to go and check Google domains once you've found a name that you like because you wanna make sure you can actually use that domain. Okay, so the next way to leverage ChatGPT in your business is copywriting. Now, if you don't know what copywriting is, it's basically writing text to persuade people to do a certain thing. In this case, it's to buy our products. And copywriting absolutely is a skill in and of itself. There's a reason all of these massive e-commerce businesses hire professional copywriters to write text very persuasively onto their stores. But now we have ChatGPT and it can write us mountains of text in a very professional, convincing and persuading way within a matter of seconds. So that means when we're designing our store and we want to add text to our product description, our homepage, our about us page, even our terms and conditions, we can leverage ChatGPT to write those sections for us in a matter of seconds. So let's say we own a luxury lighter website and we want text to be written on the about us page. 
we can just head over to ChatGBT, prompt it to write us about us text, feed it some information about our story, and you know, just headline information text at this point is enough for ChatGPT. And then boom, you can ask it for it to be longer if you want. You can ask it for it to be more descriptive and you can feed it more information and just reprompt it until it does exactly what you want and you're happy with the final outcome. So this means we're basically at a stage where instead of us having to spend so much time physically writing out these different sections, we can head over to ChatGPT, instruct it exactly what we want, see the prompt response it gives us and then give it feedback again and again and again until we get it done. So realistically, you can do the text for your whole store in a matter of 10 minutes. And you probably already know if you're versed in the e-commerce world is that brilliant images and brilliant text are two very essential aspects to increasing your conversion rate. And now we've just cut down so much time in having to make the text perfect on our store because we've got ChatGPT. And remember that when you're feeding ChatGPT prompts, you want it to be on brand with what you're trying to achieve. So that means if you're launching a brand that sells luxury lighters, you wanna make sure that your text is elegant. You wanna make sure it sounds professional. You don't want it to be funny and humorous because it just doesn't fit with the brand. So make sure you inform ChatGPT of this when it's writing you the text for your website. And here's another suggestion. You can actually tell ChatGPT what you're selling and ask it to suggest you who your target audience is and then you can ask it to write a product description specifically targeting that target audience and highlighting the benefits of the product specifically to that audience. So now the product description is a lot more descriptive and more suited to exactly who it is you're trying to speak to. So at this point, even if you already have a store that is performing successfully, don't be afraid to go and ask ChatGPT to write you new product descriptions and test them out. You can A-B test on your product page, see which ones perform better, see which one the audience and visitors that come to your site resonate with best. And truthfully, it doesn't even take you much time. You know, you can prompt it within a few seconds and test out how it performs. Okay, so the next way I like to use ChatGPT is to prompt it to write me ad copy specifically for my marketing campaigns when I run ads on Facebook. So again, you don't have to be a marketing genius to write great ad copy because you've got ChatGPT to pretty much do it for you. And in a space that's becoming a lot more competitive, you can ask ChatGPT to prompt you like 20 different variations of an ad copy and if you've got the budget, you can test every single one to find the one that is absolutely most effective. So there's a few ways that I like to leverage ChatGPT in this way. And the first thing I like to do is look at what my competitors are doing. And if you don't know how to look at your competitors' ads, it's really simple. You just head over to their Facebook page, click on about, click on page transparency, and then just click on go to ads library. And here you can see all the ads that they're running and what ad copy they're using. And so if I see any theme that they're running that I absolutely like, I'll copy that, put it into ChatGPT, tell ChatGPT that I like the theme and structure of this exact ad copy. I want you to apply the same theme and structure to my product and then feed it as much information about my product as possible, as much benefits about my product as possible. And then it will go ahead and spit that back out to me in the theme and style that I've given it. Or if that's not an option or I don't see any ad copy from my competitors that I like, then what I'll do is I'll ask ChatGBT to give me ideas on who my target audience is for this specific product. I'll feed it information about the benefits of the product and then I'll ask it to write me an ad copy specifically sharing the benefits of the product tailored to that audience. So that way my ad copy is very specific. I'm explaining the benefits to a very specific audience. And then when I craft the campaign, I could just make sure I'm targeting those specific people. Now, before having ChatGPT, writing different ad copies would take a lot of time because it's manual effort. You have to sit there. And I used to write about 15 different variations before I found one I actually liked and was willing to test. But in this case, you can just ask ChatGPT to prompt again and again and again with slight differences, give it some suggestions on what to change on the next one. And you can have yourself 20, 30 variants in a matter of five minutes. So it just makes the process so much easier. Definitely use it, especially when you're testing a bunch of different apps. And again, if you're new to dropshipping, make sure your ad copy highlights a few things. You wanna focus on benefits, not features. This is a mistake a lot of people make. No one wants to hear that your product is six meters in size as opposed to the competitor's 18 meter product. They wanna know why that's beneficial to them. So it's compact, it's easy to carry it around. Focus on benefits, not features. The second is to make sure to include a call to action in all of your ad copy. And again, this is something you actually wanna prompt ChatGPT, make sure a call to action is included. And the third is you want it to be easy to read. So in this case, I like to add emojis and have some nice spacing. That way it's a lot easier on the eyes and it doesn't look like a very compact paragraph filled with text. Okay, so the next way to leverage ChatGPT is email marketing. Now, statistically 61% of businesses 
businesses state that half of their revenue comes from repeat business. And so if you're running a store that's getting sales and you're collecting emails, you're massively missing out if you're not leveraging email marketing to get repeat buyers. Because in my opinion, there's absolutely no better way to get your customers to come back than offering them incentives through email marketing. Every month, you should be offering loyalty discounts, promotional discounts. You should be sharing updates about your business with the customers that have purchased from your store. This is how you create a following. This is how you're going to get repeat business. And if you don't know how to do this, it's super simple just head over to Clavio I'll put a link down in the description below connect your Clavio account to your Shopify account and that will allow you to import all the emails you've collected on Shopify onto your Clavio account then just head over to ChatGPT and then write a prompt saying that you want it to write you an email to all of your past customers from your store tell it what your store name is what it sells and say that in the email you want to highlight that you're offering 15% off to all of your loyal customers and then see what it spits out. And then at that point, you can give it descriptive words to adjust it if you want it to be shorter, longer, if you want it to be more elegant, more humorous, to fit your brand. Just make sure you prompt it that and it's just gonna go ahead and spit out another email that matches exactly what you're going for. And that's pretty much it. It takes a few seconds. You can just copy that email, paste it in Clavio, and shoot it to all your previous customers. And this is something that every single e-commerce business should be doing. There's no reason not to be doing this. It costs literally nothing and it will make you more money. So be sure to do it. Okay, now the last one I'm gonna talk about today is product reviews. Now, let's be honest. We all know that all dropshippers love to use fake illegitimate reviews and put it on their website. And although I don't advocate for it, let's be honest, I understand why people do it. If you have a brand new store, it can help you push your store in the beginning and get you those initial sales. So usually in the past, most dropshippers use apps on Shopify like Luke's or Vitals. And they like to use these apps to import product reviews from AliExpress. So essentially you just go to AliExpress, find your product, copy the link, paste it into that specific app and it will import all of the reviews that were on AliExpress onto your product page. But the question is, what do you do if AliExpress doesn't have any reviews or very little reviews for your product? And this is where ChatGPT can come in. So you can just head over to ChatGPT, explain to ChatGPT what it is you're selling and then prompt it to write you 50 or 60 reviews that are written by customers for this product, highlighting specifically the benefits of the product. So at this point, you wanna make sure that you're highlighting the benefits of your product in this prompt because it's going to impact the reviews that ChatGPT spits out. Then once it spits out 50 or 60 reviews, if they look good, just ask for another 50 or 60 more. And then again and again, until you get the desired number of reviews that you wanna to add to your product page. Then just copy all the reviews from ChatGPT, paste them into an Excel sheet, and then head over to Google and search for a random name generator and then generate a bunch of names, copy them, and then put them into the cells next to your reviews. Now, what you wanna do is head over to the Vitals app on Shopify, reach out to their customer support, which are really fast at replying. You're not gonna to have to wait long. Literally, if you email them, they'll respond within 30 minutes. So then just send them the Excel sheet and then ask them to import all of these reviews onto your product page, and they will do it within the hour. Now, again, guys, I know that when you're new to drop shipping, it's very easy to just fake a bunch of reviews. And I understand in the initial period, you kinda of wanna kickstart your business and so then fake reviews is an easy way to get social proof. But once you start getting your first sales, you wanna put a lot of emphasis in getting yourself legitimate reviews. And preferably you wanna get your reviews on a platform like Trustpilot because it's gonna massively improve your credibility online. So the moment you can, steer away from fake reviews and try and make it as legitimate as possible. People are wising up to this. So the earlier you do this, the better it's gonna be for your brand in the long run. And that about wraps it up guys. And as you can see, all these benefits have come from just one AI tool. ChatGPT. There's a bunch of other AI tools out there that even I use for my stores. So if you want me to make a video about how I use something like Midjourney to create very professional branded images, then shoot a comment down below and I'll be sure to do that for you guys. Again, guys, I'm completely new to YouTube. So a like, comment and subscribe really does go a long way. And I hope you found some value in this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.